Okay, it all worked. VOD had audio and all. This is good. These are good steps that we are making towards life. So now, go ahead and change this. Two of these two. All right, um, let's do this. I'm going to have to make a new thing for it, but that's fine. That's a little loud.
the raising reward is just for fun. Okay. Alvin Barth, sure. Leave it at that. Sure, why not? Damn it. Realistically, I can make my last name 400 and forgot about that, so it's going to be like that. I can't do numbers. But I need a last name now. Fighter or a shooter or a gunner? Do I talk with my fists? Do I talk with my, with my mouth? Or do I talk with my magic? I've seen all these classes play except for the Slinger. Magic and cooking are incredibly into finer mode. The Slinger is the most mystical master of both. The birds are the shortage of cooks. Since the cows came home due to most of the cooks having been brutally killed by the cows. Sure. Russell, how you doing? Ah. I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Ow. You rustle the cricket. Grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles your hand. Goodbye, Russell. Be good. Maybe it's time for you to leave, too. He takes off. Hello. I'm gonna turn this way down to like 14. Best font mode? Ew, I hate it. Nope, Ariel. <laughs> Music is really fucking loud in my ears, but. I turned it way down now. Oh, I was supposed to turn the music off right there. You read the spine of your books. The Curse of the Ancient Jungle. That's one of my favorites. Read another title. Sandy Swift in the Ancient Tower. Connie Danger in the Terrible Castle. Mabel Swift in the Trouble at the Dark Citadel. Sa Sal Jones in the Curse of the Vampire Castle. Ada Swift in the Secret of the Vulture Hospital. Oh, hey, he doesn't want to come in handy. You got an item. Walking stupid.
Now, I'm going to read this book. This is a bad idea. I read the book, so now I know how to walk stupid. But unfortunately, I dropped the book and ruined it by stepping on it 30 times while trying to pick it up. And this is a thing I can do. There. That would work right there. So this is just a good ending to bad ending? No. I'm good at walking. I walk real good. Look at my walk. My walk is amazing. Walk like a crab, except standing up straight. didn't share any her pies. My little brother's from Perk. It's tidy. Got a puzzle cube. Pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through. An investigation of the laws of thought, on which are founded the mathematical theories of logic and probabilities. None of it makes a lick of sense. Ovarius Mathematicus de Vast. Hmm. Brother's right a mathematician. Your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, mom. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you go, I got you a present. Present. Yep, it's that book you wanted from Crimbo. I know it's early, but. And now the options are the one about battering, the one about desert survival, or the one about picking locks. Desert survival. The one about desert survival? That's the one. Enjoy it. Desert eating and drinking. Write us a letter when you can. I will, mom. Goodbye. I'm gonna read it. Unfortunately, while practicing your technique, you actually squeeze the book into juice, which turns out isn't a real thing. Your father morosely jabs the haystack. Time for me to leave. Let's quiver a little. Listen, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's favorite can of beans. Can of infinite beans. Thanks, Dad. Good. Good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I did. Goodbye, Dad. Oh, finally, the Found a needle in the haystack. You can have your puzzle back. Hey, Rufus, time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. It's got a point. Why are you going west anyway? To help people. You read the papers, Rufus. The people out west are in trouble. They need all the help they can get. But it's so dangerous. 60% of people who go west get killed within a year. And that statistic before the cows came out. It'll be okay. I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mom and dad, I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so. I'm still thinking you'll be, be dead by Crimbo. I'll miss you, Rufus. Okay. I'm just curious on something. There's nothing else I can do in here, right? No. 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 Okay. Turn it back on. Heading west. Move that up there. I'm gonna actually move myself a little bit to the left. Today's Thursday, yeah? Yep. Is it warmer up there than I was downstairs? Not over here particularly, I guarantee you that. Oh yeah, it's on. It's grown set to max. I think the best way to handle heat in this house is you crank it up to the max for about half an hour and then you turn it down a little bit. Maybe. 
200 miles later. Well, the bad news is that you fell off the cart and got knocked out for a couple hours, and now you got no ride, no meat, no prospects. The good news is that you're in a town rather than in gulf somewhere. Not much of a town, though. We can get up and dust ourselves off. This is a bad idea. Here we go. I can't even move the beams. Oh! That's pretty neat. Here. Mostly scabs. You've been poked by so many cactuses that your body's built up an entire extra set of skin capillaries just to deal with that constant tiny puncture wounds. Plus five to maximum HP. Is this the stupidest shit possible? Yes. Who cares? Can't increase anything. I only have three XP. Okay. Yes, horsey. Sign on the door says "Gone Drinking." Uncle Wood, give me. Broken bird. Now my weapon. Step right up. Step right up. Braid's the name. The trade's the game. Seriously, doubt this man's name is Braid. Howdy, Braid. What are you trading? Well, sir, I am trading locks of soap and a stick of dynamite for a needle. And to the cunning skinner who brings me three rattlesnake hides, well, to that adventure soul, I will trade a fine silver pocket watch. Um. No treasure now, thanks. You approach the weird Cactus Man hybrid. He smells you. Howdy, Cactus Man. Out of yourself, and the name's Bill. Cactus Bill. What happened to you, Bill? Well, to be honest, partner, I drank too much cactus beer and it turned me into a cactus. Doc Dallas warned me this would happen, but I didn't listen. And that's why they call you Cactus Bill? No, it's just a coincidence. Oh, does it hurt? Does what hurt? You know, being a cactus. Huh. No, it's actually quite nice. The natural fermentation process inside the cactus part of me keeps me pretty drunk most of the time. I guess it's a mite boring. Yeah, I bet. Wouldn't be so bad if I had something to read, you know? You have a newspaper or anything, do you? Nope, sorry. Well, if you happen to find one, keep me in mind. Will do, Bill. Will do. Dream something to read? Not yet. Okay, nowhere. Not going anywhere. Uh, I want to go to Topeka. Sure. Hey, sure. Hi, a stranger. Welcome to Boring Springs. I'm the sheriff of these parts. The what? The sheriff. Okay. Blast sign painters. Say you wouldn't happen to be looking for work, would you? Uh, depends on the work. Uh. Well, how does this grab you? There's a gang of hoodlums around here that call themselves the Fricker Gang. Last time I arrested one of them, they busted him out and took my cell door with them. I ain't, uh, I ain't that much can go out the door, and I don't need someone smart, tough, and or slick to go fetch it back for me. Why don't you do it? You're the sheriff. Mm, okay, give it a shot. Why don't you say that? Because I'm spending the deputy along with you to keep you out of trouble. Here, take this pistol. Deputy? You deputized a gun? You're new here. Maybe you ain't noticed, but there ain't much to hear do to do here except drink. Here, let me write down the Fricker Gang's hideout for you. Cool. Got it. I'll be back with the door. What are these? Demi Fricker for face thieving. Naked Mike Bernstein for bird theft. Walking to the saloon, the crazy eyed guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves to get your attention. Make noise, turn on the laptop behind you if you want to. I just want to speak to you about. <coughs> Are you listening to that through your earphones or something? No, I'm just listening to you. Okay, you can grab the laptop. You'll be fine. Therefore, you have a bigger screen to look at and you don't have to. Honestly, stare down and crane your neck. Audrey might be spending the night again because like, her mom does not want to bring her here. Yep. 
I mean, have you peeked outside? It's, a. Uh, it got thick again, apparently. Holy shit. We might have the issue that I'm hoping we don't have. So I'm gonna have to venture out there at some point today and see if the car will start. Well, hey, where's your hat, Dak Nabbit? Well, I, you can't drink here without a hat. Tame Popper. Points to take a leave of a hat box next to the door. This little box found a magical black cestin. Sure. A barely enchanted hat. You put, you grab the hat and put it on there. Thanks, sir. Pete. Thanks, Pete. Use your friendly, if not somewhat twitchy nod. Say filler. Yeah. You heading west? If you want some company, I'd be happy more to come with you. Just let me know. Well, or no pressure. All right, keep it in mind, Pete. Just, you know, just hang out, do what you're doing. Platoon. I'm looking it. It's full of fit, spit, regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum, and even a few teeth. Disgusting, and the smell even from a distance smells horrible. Look closer. You are now on your hands and knees, peering into a filth and crusted spittoon. I don't I understand what's going on, what's wrong with you. But there's something at the bottom, get it. You reach, <laughs> you reach your hand towards the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air, like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like vomit through a mesquite barbecuing contest. You hesitate, never surrender. You plunge your hand into the awful soup. It makes it sound like a glump. Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. Search. Your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's terrain slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring. Probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations. I got a nice ring. That person's snoring up a goddamn storm. Did I put it on? I put it on. Cool. Thanks. Mm, good luck, you two playing poker. I have one. Goodbye. 25 meat for each. Oh, neat. I can finally notice it. Howdy, cowboy. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Alvin. What brings you out to a little backwater? That's about work. All the usual. I came out to West to make my fortune. Not having much luck so far, though. Any work around these parts? Fortunately, Boring Springs already has more people in it than in just jobs. It's more of an area town if you care for me. If you're looking for a real job, I'd recommend talking to tickets to the railroad people up on dirt water. Okay, now they're talking about dirt water. Dirt water is interesting. It's far enough west that it's still more or less exempt from the rule of law. Not so far west that it's been burned to the ground by those damn cows. Lots of opportunity there. Yep, if I was a young woman, I'd probably head that way myself. Railroad. Manifest Destiny Railroad Company from back east. They're trying to run a line of to Frisco and having a heck of a time doing so. Oh, it's not actually showing my mouse on screen either. That's actually, wait, is it? Oh, it is. Damn. That's fine. I reckon they're always hiring for one thing or another. Big company, that. What about the errands? Yeah, this forsaken burg is always falling apart one way or another. The holster's always needing help since he hurt his leg, and that didn't... No account sheriff could certainly stand to have somebody doing a job for him. Anything else? Well, I've got a goblin loose in the basement. Some cow poking from the gulch didn't wipe his boots off and got spores everywhere. I can probably handle a goblin. Hmm. Much obliged. Who me? Well, uh, there's a goblin in my boot. Oh. See, see you later, Pete. Howdy, Alvin. Howdy, Alvin. I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm a town holster. I don't know what that means. I'm the Talus horse selling guy. Gotcha. How's it working for you? Oh, the horse is flying out the door. So, business is booming? Nice. No, I mean the horse keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Oh. I gotta fix this. There. Now it's out of my way. Are we here and drinking instead? Yep. And me being here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably why they keep escaping. It's one of the, those vicious circle things. Well, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? One, kind of a boring one, but it's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable. I'll be happy to show it to you. Cool. Thanks. Mm, fine, you can drink. A little sporcy. Afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? How's business? You know, every day I'm hustling. I'm hustling. Tell you the truth, though, it's pretty terrible. I'll have my horse keep running away. Well, except for this completely ordinary one. That's rough. Maybe I can help. Oh, yes, thank you. Please, I'll go fetch them myself, except for this injury. I'll give you 300 meat for each one you find. For finding them. How many are there? Three. Here, let me show you. They pretty much always run away to the same places. Oh, okay. Why these places? 
I think they like the environments that are thematically appropriate. Here, when you find one, feed it some oats, that should bring them back here. How does that work? They're special pigeon infused oats. Oh, okay. See you later. Just browsing. You said something earlier about an injury? Yeah, I busted my knee while mucking out in the showroom. Don't know, ask Kyle, it's embarrassing. I'm gonna get Doc Alice to look at it, but she gave him Doc Rick. Why'd she do that? Nobody knows, she just shut herself up in the office. Said she wouldn't talk to no one except Nurse Whiskey. That actual nurse, so I'm pretty sure she's being sarcastic. I think you should worry enough. Horses get mighty attached to their riders. Once you bought one, you won't be able to change your mind later. Right now, I don't have the one horse available. Let me think on that. Mm, let me look right here. Mm, Diamond for a needle? Sure. No thanks. Bye. Who's the lady with drinking whiskey out of a beer mug? That's Susie. She's a rancher from nearby. Real tough broad. I recommend you pester her. Why not? Lost her whole family to the recent cow attack. Got some pent up frustrations about it. Ouch. Is there a save mechanic somewhere I've missed? Not currently. Good to know, I guess. Okay. Hey. That's it. I had a cowboy who was gonna be searching the spittoon for his teeth if he don't leave me in peace. Okay, bye bye then. Never mind, I'm going to just slide around this way. I'm gonna slide back this way. And back down this way. And this way. Alright. I am here. We're gonna go to Hey, pick for me. The snakes, the boneyard, or the or or the or or. All right, let's go check out some more. All oh, right, meat mine. parts of this game, just not all of it. Well, I'm glad I did this in the order that I did. So. Down my friend, Winnie. The wolf horse shies away from you. In this case, it's more like a crippling, cripplingly introvertedness away from you, reassure her. Come on, I'm like that. Look, I brought your smokes. They're in poison or anything. For respect, I guess that wasn't very comforting to say. Pat her on the nose. As you reach out to pat her on the nose, the dark horse ducks and steps further back to the shadow. Oh, come on. Here you go, yum yum. She, sli she sidles away from you wearily and makes a surprisingly good attempt at hiding her in her own shadow. Come on, please. Oh, it yourself. <clears throat> Take a handful from the bag and toss it in your mouth. Yeah. It's like the roughest, blandest breakfast cereal you'll ever eat. This is better than dry cat food, don't ask. 
You smile to show the horse that you're fine and realize that you've unconsciously turned around and walked out the door. Jesus is powerful. The horse looks at you warily and re enter with a cheerful wave. See, perfectly fine. Better off. The horse hunches her shoulders and seems to shrink lightly as you pet her on the nose, but she doesn't actually flee, so that's something. Would you like oats? There you go. The horse finally relax seems relaxed enough around you, so you offer her a handful of oats. Wearily, begrudgingly, she eats them. Then she gestures at something behind you. You turn around to look, but don't see anything. When you turn back around, she's gone. Oh, okay then. One can only assume she went to the right place. I need me a shovel! I don't have enough dynamite! Can I get another tool? Or I already got what I need. No? Okay, cool. Alright, graveyard or snakes? you. You exist for now, friend. That's a big snake. Okay, I can't get past that without fighting either, apparently, so I'm gonna do something else. Yo. I don't know how you spot her hiding in that mine, but thanks for sending back my dark horse. Sure thing. Afternoon, what can I do for you? Uh, just browsing. Okay, right there. Found these mugs. Much obliged. Hand them cover mugs and collect your bounty. Forget, just thought I'd say howdy. Hey. Bye, bye. Never mind. Fuck you. <coughs> nice looking to you. The two playing poker, or at least trying to, they keep looking back and forth from their hands to the how to play poker card that came with their deck, biting their lips and concentrating on a real card. Can I play? Look at you nervously. Look, I have some meat. Let's play. You put 20 meat on the table and sit down before they can say no. One of them shuffles a card sloppily and deals a new round. You get a pair of tens plus a two, a three, and a king. Um. Quite crazily. Sweat gushes off all their faces as they do this. Each reads a how to play poker card again, but eventually they both add 20 wheat to the pot. Okay, read me wheat. You show off your pair of tens plus two, three king. The guy on the left has a full house, two jacks, and three aces, and the gal on the right somehow got a straight flush. Two through six, and hearts. I win. You explain the jacks are worth nine points each, giving the guy on the left total of 21 points. That. That hurts my brain. I'm leaving. Goodbye. So just for a minute, I'm gonna go buy a lock. If 
fact that I still have a dynamite concerns me. Let's tie this guy up. He's fine as he is. Let's dip me in. I want the eye patch raise an eyebrow at you. Who are you and how do you get past Thud and Soapy? What you want? I'm here for the shirt store. I'll show you the door. Go straight to hell. Oh, okay. I didn't actually want to fight. Do I have a... Can I run? I'm only giving him the same as losing. That's sad. I'm sad. Nothing says what happens if I lose, so I'm curious. They didn't take anything off me, so I didn't technically lose. They want to fight me again? It's Bimmy. Bimmy, your brother. Bimmy, you ain't Bimmy. I am too. Back me up here, Snipe. I have to speak sub, but don't... Let's see how I can do this without fighting them. It's Bimmy. Tell some Rube's face. He always had a knack for rust face wrestling. What's new, Bimmy? Gotta get out of here and fast. Out of here and fast. Wimpy, the Pinkertons are on to us and they'll be here in a minute. Dagnamic, come on, Smite. Snipe, let's hot tail it. I'll catch up. Wimpy nods and Snipe hurriedly packs up along and flee the cave. You congratulate yourself on tentativeness, memory, and strong interpersonal skills. Grab the door, Scott. And also this stuff. And also that stuff. Buddy boy out here still sleeping? Yeah, I ignore him for now. Where are my prayer? Yo, got your door back. Want it back? To the freaking gang has put a stop to you breathing. Did you rescue my store cell door? You hand the sheriff his door and he hangs back on his end. Just my work, Stranger. This here prison has got about four times more secure. And are there any freaking boys left for me to round up? Yeah. One or two that sleep on the job. I'll go round them up shortly. Looks like I owe you a reward. I have a little task for you. What you need? Well, the freaking busted the lock when they took the door. I kind of need a new lock. Just happen to have one. You hand the lock to the sheriff. That'll do nicely. Puts the lock on the door and accidentally drops the key and clatters into the cell. Hellfire. I don't suppose you're gonna pick a lock, stranger. You got a needle handy? I'll see what I can do. Fine. And I locked your cell for you. Sheriff walks into the cell and picks up the key. He looks around for a place to hide it and eventually sticks it under his hat. Thank you, kindly, stranger. If Orange Springs ever needs any more criminals, they better watch out. That's a good job you done. Don't mention it. Here, have the souvenir. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Sheriff. All right, baby freaker, right there. Face Steven. Okay. Yeah, anything different? No, okay. You still? Yeah, you are. Okay, cool. Bye. And they're being picked up and what's not helpful. There's nothing deeper in this cave. Got it. Thanks. 
Okay. Let's go to... I'm ready to do an hole. Hold on, I need to get up. Yeah. Fight the snakes, I guess. Probably about the best thing I got a chance of fighting. HP real or uh, heals in between. Hey there, boy. Hey, fellow, I'm a friend, okay? It's cool. All right. Be cool. Don't freak out at me. Pat his nose. Be careful the Julian pat the horse nose. Twitches a bit. Okay, a lot. But he seems to recognize you aren't going to eat his eye or suck out his soul or whatever madness to bounce around this skull of his. That's a good boy. Look him in the eyes. You calmly look the horse in the eyes. One of them is fixed in a glassy thousand yard stare, and the other one is revolving madly in his socket like he's thinking of something. Trying to escape in every direction simultaneously. He's looking. He looks to be calming down now. That it's clear that you aren't actually made of spiders, though. Give him the oats. Are you hungry? Got a little treat. He defeat the crazy horse, one of the homing oats, and he gallops away with a whinny, or rather a... That's a lot of letters. Hopefully he's headed home and not to this wealth dimension. We'll see. Pulse quickens as you get near the spooky translucent horse. Hello there. Hi, I'm a friend, okay? Nay. That's a bit strange. Why did you do that with opening your mouth? Pat her on the nose. You've had the horse nose, which is very cold. If you're going to ride her, you might want an extra saddle blanket to keep your butt from freezing. Pat her on the nose again. Yep, still cold. Yep, still cold. Yep, still cold. The R's are getting longer. Yep, still cold. You get the idea. Here to the oats. Here you go, girl. Have some oats. You hold out the oats, but she sort of just stares right through you. Or, please don't look at me like that. Hold the oath again. The horse continues to ignore them. What's the matter? Are they not spooky enough? I'm not sure how to make the oath spooky. But I guess I could put some bone meal on them. I don't have anything handy to grind up bones with. Grave dirt? Yep. Yes? Weird. Okay. That's some grave dirt. You sprinkle the oath with a bit of grave dirt and hold them out again. The horse gazes expressionlessly upon them and eats them. Know that she glides away in the direction of town. Bizarre. 
Silas Cochain, the baby. Elizabeth Cochain, beloved daughter. Timothy, devoted husband. That's one paper. Mostly goth, uh, all pale horse, or the all black, uh, introverted horse. Exactly. Cause they both fit right up your alley. Or do I just want the cat? That's in the corner. That's currently crawling up to you. <laughs> Spooky pale one? You sure? She's like, well, now that you've mentioned it, I'm not. But thanks for that. Spooky Pale one for a thousand. It's a good choice. I like that sort of thing. What sort of thing? You know, spooky stuff. Spooky stuff? I don't want to get the particulars. Let's say she's a certain set of certain tone. Ooh, mysterious. I'll take her. All right, here's the keys where I'd say. I get to name her. Let's go. It's bad because the name I was actually thinking was Tina, and then when they gave the suggestion was Tina. <laughs> no, I have another idea. Name your horse Barley? Yep. <laughs> Alright, Barley the horse. It's got a nice ring to it. <laughs> Every free horse purchase is a complimentary map. Thank you. One oh, second, but hold on. Susie Cochain? How'd you know my last name? I saw the graves in the cemetery. She <coughs> scowls bitterly, mudges her whiskey. I saw it happen, saw the whole damn thing, could do nothing about it. Barton sells cows. Cows, right? I don't know what those things are, but those ain't cows no more. What happened? Hey. What's wrong? What's wrong, buddy? It was a raid, see? My pa used to ranch cattle back before, well, before they came home. Pa didn't make it, but Ma and I managed to rebuild. Ranch pigs instead, then she left me the place when she passed. Go on. Well, I guess a passing herd sniffed out that it used to be a cow ranch and they attacked a couple days ago. Happened so fast, I didn't get the chance to write. Get my rifle out of the gun safe. Cal smashed up the front door and started fire started in the back by the root cellar. Housing up to blaze is just like that. What you do? I mean, there was nothing that I could do. Couldn't get upstairs to the kids because of the fire. I saw Tim trampled right in front of me. I just changed the glass. I don't want to talk about it no more. Sorry. He fills a mug from the bottom on the bar and doesn't reply. What will you do now? Head west, I suppose. Then keep me here. No desire to stay. Can't leave without my rifle, though. Why not? It's Ma's rifle. It's all I got left of me, anybody. Where is it? Let at the ranch like a damn fool. Listen, can I ask you a favor? I need someone to go get it for me. Yeah, I'll go get it. Okay. That was Cochain Ranch. Uh... 
Yeah. Oh, I gotta look at the car bar. Huh. Apartment's getting there. there we go. go around. I gotta fight you. Okay, fine. That's fire. I build AP back. Got them their raffle. eyes well up with tears as she hands you her rifle. She roughly scrubs her sleeves along her face before any of them spill over. Thanks, stranger. I didn't catch your name. Yeah. Can't rightly say what this means to me. She looks back at the rifle for a long moment, but looks back at you. Well, that's enough while I'm in misery. Time for me to hit the road. If you want me to tag along with you head west? Just say the word. Sounds good. Two more options here. I want to try to handle them. Here we go. Whiskey delivery for your dock. What brand? Harris Whiskey. Your favorite, I'm led to believe. Didn't know she made house calls. Alright, hold on. Yo, Doc. Like Alice looks to be at about her fifties, her hair is graying and her face is lined, but her eyes are still sharp. They're clear and sharp, if bloodshot. She holds out her hand. Whiskey. Stat. Give it to her. Cracks open the bottle and fills a small flask. She takes it out of her pocket. Then she puts the flask back in her pocket and starts chucking out of the bottle. Jeez, Doc, that doesn't seem healthy. Who's the doctor here? Me or you? Fair enough. Is everything all right? That depends on how fast I get this whiskey into my bloodstream compared to how fast my liver filters it out. And I can't talk and drink at the same time, so he glares at you meaningfully. So what's uh I mean, what's the matter, dog? What's the matter? The whole world's gone to hell in a horse cart. You ask me what's the matter? Bandits, cow demons, dead men walking, and why don't you go ahead and pick one? I'll drink to that. Dead men walking? You haven't seen it? Corpses and skeletons staggering around with puppets with half their strings cut, looking to take a bite out of the living? Oh yeah, there was a skeleton in the cemetery. It's nice to get some outside confirmation that I'm not losing my damn mind. But how's it even possible? It isn't possible. Buzz up against everything I know about medicine. Then patients gonna get back up. Patients? Oh, ouch. That gal's turns slowly grimacing. Every doctor loses one now and again, and you never get used to it. But what happens? What doesn't happen is them coming back afterwards and looking for revenge. It's pretty tough. Rough? Buddy, I don't think you comprehend the sense relation. It's not just patients. It's neighbors, friends, husbands. Oh, um, no indeed. Turns away from you and focuses her attention back on the bottle. Hmm. Hey, Doc, can I look at your books? Sure, if you want to. Not that they're going to do much good in this doom for second hello. You should try being less cheerful, Doc. <coughs> Legend of Curly's Meat. The book tells the story of a legendary treasure, a massive chest of full premium meats. Secreted in the hidden sense, not in the extruded sense, in the western desert by an old cow hand named Curly Butterfield. Civil War Surgeon's Autobiography, but flipping through it, you mostly just find it lists reasons that drinking alcohol is bad. It was actually a work of ludicrous speculative fiction. <laughs> At least there's some useful appendices in the back. And some diagrams of appendices. Appendici. Appendices? The Goblinoid Tongues, I remember. Or flipping through a goblin language book, it's confusing at first, but you eventually get so engrossed by the time you take a break from reading. Several blurfs have passed, and you also know that blurf is goblin word for an hour. You learn to speak goblin, sort of. I like that. I preened a little. So, do you have an idea what's causing all the resurrections? 
Well, I heard a rumor. What rumor? It's when you get incomplete information from Ben Fire Brown Source. Whatever. Anyway, that's what I heard this fella out there at West calling some. causing it a necromancer, they call him. Supposedly he's sending magic out into the world somehow. Magic like Bing Slingers use? Like we Bing Slingers use? I've never heard of any Bing Slingers raising the dead, have you? Our scout deepens. That'd be one hell of a can of beans. Mm. Let's see with all the TNT. It's so when I feel like I'm about to go, I can blow myself in a bit so there won't be nothing left to come back. It seems drastic. Drastic hell. No way I'm risking them. It has become one of those things. Fair enough. What that necromancer? Tell me he exists. What about him? Well, maybe someone I'll go try to stop him. You? Because I know you ain't talking about me. Why not you? A gray old... A gray-haired old woman that knows as much about fighting as a squirrel knows about surgery. Did you hit your head on a bar stool, kid? You aren't that old. And if we're gonna pick a, and if we're gonna pick someone to go up against a necromancer, it'd be someone who knows all about death in a, but a scientific way—a doctor, right? And it sounds to me like you got plenty of motivation to get the job done for your friends and everyone. And he's look at you, but see the gears turning in her head. Beats doing nothing anyway. You just locking yourself in a house full of TNT and drinking yourself deaf. You aren't even doing a doctoring anymore. She winces and looks away, then she shakes her head slowly. She just expect me to ride out west by myself chasing a rumor, but not to be by yourself. I'm heading west too. Tag along with me and maybe we can find a guy and put a stop to him. Crazy. Possible. Impossible like raising the dead is all impossible? Impossible. You like the impossible, ma'am? You, li you like the impossible? <laughs> yeah, impossible. Alright, kid, what the hell? Let's give it a shot. Ooh. I got one more thing I can do. Shots. I'm Gary. Er, hi, Gary. Hi, hello. Hello, I am Gary. Who are you? Introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Alvin. Hello, hello, Alvin. Good to meet you. What Alvin doing down here? Be polite, sir. And be polite. You know, just looking around. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Gary likes looking, too. Gary now looking for a way out of this dump. Gary not having much luck, though. Where are you trying to go, Gary? Highway. Highway and far up for popping. Popping and then new Gary everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. Go down, Gary. Gary doesn't like settling. Gary wants the traveling and popping. If Alvin go far up and high away, maybe taking Gary with you, eh? I'll think about it. I'll let you know, Gary. I'll let you know. Right. Almost forgot. <laughs> Thank you. That's your newspaper. Much obliged, partner. Let's see, what can I do in return for you? Oh, I know my shovel. I left it behind the outhouse of the old hole mine. It's yours if you can go get it. You'll find a use for it, I'm sure. Thank you. Don't mention that. If you could just kind of stick that newspaper to my face before I leave. Ah, yes, the funny pages. Right. This was ish the last thing I needed to do. Perfect. Got the shovel. Now I can dig up shit. I need more dynamite, but I don't got more. I don't got dickering, so I can't get no more dynamite. Unless I can get that from like a book here in the graveyard, like here. Yoga fire. Ow. Attack. That boy. And a gold tooth.
No, I'm wave dashing. Taco in the background, so it's happy. Happy <laughs> Monica. <laughs> Hold on to my nuggets, thank you, there, Pete. Not done yet. Fricker Gang's hiding a head out of the to go. Got a happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, happy holiday. Okay, there's nowhere in here I can go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Wave dashing. Wave dashing. Alright. Oh, right. Uh, hold on. Hellbender? Right. Spell damage. Origin. The only thing I can do that requires a different class, which would be the only thing to help me uh, basically 100% of the area. But hey, we're good. So <clears throat> I can take Gear of the Goblin. I'm doing Bean Slinger. I can take Gear of the Goblin, which is the Goblin I met down in the bar. Take Susie, which is the Rifle Slinger that wants revenge for her family, basically. And she's like, listen, I got nothing here to do anymore. Take me with you. I can take Doc Alice, who is in fact a medic. And it's like, listen, I can do something better than nothing. I got Crazy Pete. She's like, I don't like Gary and I don't like Pete. Yeah, it's between Susie and Doc. <laughs> I'll let you pick. I want to go hang out with them there. Susie and them there, Doc. Me neither. Everyone I've seen play this game takes Gary. Yes. Because Gary's funny. And, and kind of OP. But I don't want to take Gary because that's too easy. Taking them there, Susie. You pop back to the saloon and collect Susie. Time to hit that old dusty trail. Heading for dirt water. 
What y'all want them there, Susan? Partner. Let's do it, Susan. I like to check on, on some rich ranches in these parts. See how bad the cow tax are getting. Alright, do you know some? Not in great detail, but I have roughly a few. Or at least where where they were. We'll just have to see. It's not that far from here. What do you think we should do next? If we're looking to get a move on westward, I reckon the train is the way. Yeah. Yeah, that map the holster gave you have a marked on a railroad camp or other? Maybe it might be a good idea. Good idea. Thank you. He, he horse is so funny looking. I'm gonna comb my horse's mane. She neighs with whispered gratitude. Chuck, I gotta do it. Chuck, I gotta do it. Chuck, I gotta do it. Gotta do it. This is a spittoon, which is sort of brass bucket that. Yeah, said a bean slinger. I'm a bean slinger. I'm a mystic owl bean slinger. Oh god, I hate that fucking piano player. They need to be fucking shot. Because <laughs> it's not in tune. Yeah. This is a spittoon, which is sort of brass bucket that people spit into instead of spitting on the floor, because not spitting at all is not an option in society, I guess. But despite that, you know, pretty inf intimately familiar with spittoons already, sicko. Inspect it. Look, the jewels. Look, the jewel saloon is pretty nice. The saloon's got actual glass in the windows, more than two guns drinks, poker room, instead of, poop, instead of a cockfighting pit. But the spittoon is still a spittoon. The ranch tobacco spit inside is fancy ranch tobacco spit. It ain't. It ain't. I'm expecting it. Here we go again. All right, fine. You are now hunkered down next to a brass filled bucket. Yeah, I fucking hate that piano player. Because every now and then it's like all you hear is like the same note played five times over for no reason. And then someone's just out of tune and then someone starts getting played backwards. Yeah. <coughs> Put an earphone, you can hear it. <laughs> All right, fine. You're hunkered down next to a brass filth bucket, which has probably never been cleaned or emptied because you're near the desert, and the ambient humidity around here is pretty low. Low enough that the spit evaporates nearly as quickly as it accumulates. So, that's good, right? No, that's bad, because only it's only the water part of the spit that evaporates. The brass bucket is half full of the rest of the spit. The toxins of filth that don't evaporate. Several years worth. Distilled and concentrated until its consistency of molasses. People aren't allowed to flick cigarette butts into the spittoon anymore because they bounce out. Oh, time to search it. You're about to put your hand into a bucket of something the color and viscosity of maple syrup. Except instead of maple, it's flavored with the inside of the mouths of people who chew cigars instead of smoking them. And have never brushed their teeth. Yay. Glorp. It feels like you're putting your hand into a bucket of lukewarm tapioca pudding. Except instead of tapioca, it's basically poison. It smells like something someone ran over a skunk. Wait a week and then set it on fire. It feels like your hand is dissolving. Keep searching. You found a tacky, filthy covered porcelain cow figurine. A useless, disgusting thing that will make a great heirloom for your children, assuming you're still able to have any, and you hate them. Hooray! Thanks. This is not very good at its job. I'd agree. I'd like to shoot you. These guys are gonna shoot each other. I'm gonna buy some slap from you. Wow. Fine, I'll eat what I've got. Oops. Hi there, always nice to see new face in town. Welcome to the Jewel Saloon. Yeah, my name. Yeah, it is. Glad to know you, Alvin. Folks around here just call me Lloyd. What can I do for you? Nice to meet you, Lloyd. Um, saw the sign on front advertising for a room. That's right, finest room in the house and plenty of room for your partner, too. You interested? How much does it cost? Well, let's say you're in luck. Previous tenant was a banker. Fell and he paid a month in advance right before getting himself killed by bandit. You got these sorts of rooms yours if you want to. Oh, great. Well, I'll...
What's up, boss? Um, I forget about anything. Hmm, much obliged. Yep. So. That's like. She put on the fucking earbud. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry the sound changes every time there's a different walking style so if i go from walking to suddenly scuttling the sound goes from clunk, 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 clunk. or from rolling goes... or from doing the one it's like it's awful um you need help with it anything well, if you're handy with mechanical type stuff, something's gone wrong with our piano player. Our player piano player. I thought the music sounded a little off. Yeah, it's not so sound like that. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, I poked around in it myself, but I lost the key. This is totally taking a strange turn. Before we do that. Um, what's the old man by the piano? Oh, that's old Lil's very tragic fellow. He's a writer and a poet and came out of West Tell Stories, but then no one by it. The weirdest stories. Fantastical. Stupid stuff for kids? Too bad, I love that stuff. Oh. Well, it don't matter much now. Anyway, he had to get a normal words to make words in me. I mean, me to pass him well as a prospector until one day he lost his mind in the mind. <coughs> you what now? You know what I mean. He saw something, saw something that made him stop telling his weird tales, made him stop talking near completely. Come to that, he just stands there by the piano nowadays. Seems to calm down. As long as he doesn't make any trouble, I don't mind him too much. Feel a little sorry for him, to be honest. Poor fellow. And darts. Sound of darts, that's the ass for darts. Oh, sorry. All the darts got broken months ago. That's disappointing. Oh, later, Lord. Well, I need a lockpick. Got it. <laughs> Why is this one chair on its side? What are you doing here? Employees only, but Oh, sorry, I was just looking around, you know? There's a nose type, eh? Well, I prefer adventure some. As it happens, there's something we can do for me. I'm out of salt. Salt, Peter. I need someone to go pick some more for me. Salt, Peter. And I used to make gunpowder and other things. Looks as a chef here. Me or you? Okay, okay, where can I find it? You best bet it's your best bet's a military camp. Because it's used to make gunpowder. Shut up. The nearest one's near Fort Caritas. They keep it in the little green jars. Okay, be back. Yep, that happened. Okay, cool. Sit down at the poker table. The little nerd is from somewhere in the back and sits down next to you. The lady on your right introduces herself to Mildred, and the player to your left says his name is Chester. Sure, ante up. First round pot of 60 meat. Told the garbage hand. Just a quick wait. on the table causing the cards to fly in the air and land in a slightly different configuration. Okay. Second round of betting pod from 60 meet and you estimate your chance of winning by 30%. We are going to cleverly strategize. You do some quick mental math and realize your odds of winning are better than you thought. Plus 20% chance of winning. Last round of betting time to do or die. Pot of 60 meet and your chance of winning are 50%.
cleverly strategize again. More mental math and up by up to 70. For your brow and turn over your cards, Kentucky plush. The other slows flips her cards over to reveal the straight. Chester turns over a flush. You lost the I'll try one more time. It's a really terrible hand. A pair of suicide queens of hearts. <laughs> Wait, I'm at 20% now. No, I'm gonna fold. I'm not gonna do this. Uh, fold. Why does the pick run away? Nothing. We're going to moxiously raise. Forty percent. Cool. Moxiously strategize. I just got everything I lost a minute ago, so I'm cool, but... Okay. I don't know if it says post office, but it's post device. It's a lot of empty lots. Right, this is dirt water. No. You're walking real fast, my friend. Ed, are you the sheriff here? No, we friend don't have sheriff. Offer to leave. Offer to be sheriff, offer to help, offer to leave, and leave. You need help until you find a new sheriff? Sure, if you're gonna go with a gun, there's always somebody in need of justice. Want to post in the back cells or over yonder? A wasted poster? Wasted the stripy hat gang for grand theft paint and tasteless hat vandalism. Last seen in the vicinity of Cavern Canyon. Interesting. Dirty riding paint thieves and low down no fashion sense hat vandals. Want to go after them? Yeah. Wanted poster. Er, a wanted poster. If accuracy is important. House in the desert gang for mortgage non payment squatting and general public nuisance. Also for, also for murdering two collection agents. Okay. This one's sad. The ghost base cell. Oh boy, I gotta go find someone ghosty. Send a postcard. All right, let's have it. That'll be uh, one of them prepaid ones. That'll be zero meat then. No oh, thanks. Vienna blood sausages. Also, I see what I should have bought. I'm gonna do that. Alright, go with some. Oops. Oh, 
On the saddle up, we're going to the desert house. Turn around, Wander. I like this game because it's like, it gives you specific locations you can go to based on meeting people, much like Fallout or Skyrim. But then you can also just wander around to other places and people. And an abandoned minecart. Check it out. Got yeah, unrefined meat nugget. Nice. Supplies bound by a nearby army fort. It looks like it fell off the wagon, or the driver, or the driver fell off the wagon and was too drunk to strap it down. And I got no time to fall. Chemical bullet and military grade whiskey. Oh, there we go. You can also run into some random encounters like this. Gulch Goblin Rustler? I always kind of assumed that was related to a different sort of rustling. Looks like you would make angry goblin sounding noises. Charge it with a rustling text, surrender, jump down and fight it. Um, you're gonna get taxed, sir. You know there's not a rustling tax on this gorge, right? You can't rustle free here, bud. Goblin doesn't seem to understand, so it takes you a few minutes to communicate the concept with elaborate gestures. Eventually, the goblin pays you just to make you go away. Great. So I'm sure you see a hell cow. A hell cow? Really, it snorts a patch of brush lighting on fire. And it starts grazing it. Ah, kill it! Jeez, calm down, so it's only a little one. Kill it before it gets bigger. We were into a trap. You quickly dig a small pit and cover it with tumbleweed, which you light on fire. The hell calf canters over excitedly, whereupon you kick it into the hole and throw rocks at it until it's managed from this plane. Now that was mighty satisfying. Going to the death house. Oh. Found the Dave Yard. Right. Which is way the fuck up there. Somehow. There's another ranch out this way, the Butterfield Ranch, Dairy Farm, mainly. All right, we can check it out. All right, this is a pretty fucking big map. Oh my god, this map is fucking huge. Uh, man, you see this map? Yep. And it started us way the fuck. Out. You're good. Just, you know, it started us way the fuck down here. So I'm like, oh, yeah, no, there's not that much to this map. Unscroll. <laughs> That's a little bit bigger than I thought it was. I just paid for three down. I, mean, I feel cheap. Eat it. Susie's fucking dead. Equip for Susie? There is no fucking way the game left gonna make me equip for Susie. But it says Susie's gonna be one damage. I'm like, excuse me? I probably still have to equip for Susie. Fuck. That's fine. Curly, Curly Butterfield, Legend of Curly's Meat. I investigated. Which gave me a new place, Coral Ridge Mine. Thanks. Glad I read that book. Uh, nope. I'm good, thanks. Bye. I know salt cows, I remember them. Okay. 
Damn them cows, I ain't gonna let them get away with this. Why do you think they do it? Ain't no reason what they do. Scrapping reason the beast is just hog feathers and duck feed. Hmm. There. Profound even. Advanced Beancraft Volume 4? No, that's five, that's six. And learn me a new thing. Hmm. I want to learn Bean Golem, Bean Wall, or Blood Beans. Let's see. A nice wall shaped pile of beans. Bean Wall. Creates Bean Wall. Cover from range attacks. Making human sized or larger automatons and binding them to your will with kitchen tasks. Bean Golem. Or blood beans let you regenerate health. I would like bean golem. That is just a bean of eyes. Unfortunately, one of your earlier experiments get a little rowdy into the book. Bad, bad golem. Forward. Forward. Right. Oops. Not what I have to do. I need to do. Forward you 200. Okay. We, we, we'll, we'll get there. I promise. direction is kind of funny. I can't give it a direction if you don't. It keeps, it keeps, keep wanders, you know. That's a lot of meat. Huh? I just gained 656 meat. Discount Dynamite Bands Discount Dynamite Emporium. After I bought Dynamite. Fuck me. Calibrates the springs and range and gears, and the machinery decides to start operating smoothly. The music improves it immediately. Ooh. 
Hey, load. Fix your piano player for you. Oh, that's why it sounds much better. Thanks, Heat. I'd offer you a free room exchange if you already got one. Eh, no worries. Can you help with anything else? Everything is good? Okay, bye. Wait, can I talk to old man now? You, you good, sir? No. No better. Okay, good though. Anything for me? Huh. Oh, dear. Okay. I need to... I'm gonna go to the mercantile, alright. Here. I want to buy this advanced bean craft book. Thank you. Fuck off. I require to read this. L-I-X. Oh boy, that's a... That, that's a hell of a book. Great Northern Blizzard. <laughs> Cold damage. The use of the old bean increases the mysticality during a fight. And blood beans, which lets me regenerate HP. And do the Great Northern Blizzard. Let's go check out the desert house. Apparently, I lost my path. Through the gnarled ancient forest, you shudder. Keep going. Before all these stops, the fog ahead, you see a shape. You dismount and investigate. It reveals to be a pedestal. Take the book. Take the book. Introduc introductory next max. You dismount and, and approach the house where the bandits are hold up. You hear a voice from inside say, What was that? Uh oh. Like you're gonna be sneaky when I avoid flow on practice. Sneaky is my middle name. Wait, really? Yeah, sneaky is my middle name. If you say so. Thanks. My new nickname is Alvin Sneaky 400. What is this? Grin Skull. Get your printer. Okay, whatever, Grandma. You cannot re see the words on the pages, but you nevertheless read them. Your mind becomes stained with grown up secrets. As you turn on the last page, the book vanishes in a puff of black smoke. Okay. Fuck, God damn it! I will chug to your name. Thank y'all for them there chugging. You want to stop at five? Make sure that everything has been going like it needs to and whatnot. Sound of it. You say this doghouse contains an angry dog. This doghouse contains an angry dog. Yeah, what are your options? Mm, you know, back off. Mm, most notably, because I don't want to kill the dog. Might be able to find some meat to give to it later. The skeleton approaches you in that jittery, non-stop, motiony way that skeletons do. Judging by its hat, here's the skeleton of a bean slinger. You remember the cask saying, "Old bean slingers die like normal people, but sometimes they keep walking around and cast spells at you afterwards." Out fox it. Skeleton hisses and clacks at you and holds up a can of beans, preparing a terrible spell. Well, hold on a second. Not the beans, though. Skeleton pauses and looks at the can, then turns it around so you can see the label. Oh, geez, you can't use these. Those are full of nitrates and sulfur and dioxides. Do you know what those still do to your bones? The skeleton looks aghast and shuffles off to research some healthier bean options. Oh, no. Anyway. Thoroughly trampled house. Oh. Safe crack. Yes, a grits and soda crack. Remember that. Remember, remember, remember this. Sandy, what's this cow skull pounded up on the wall for? A little weird, yeah. Who would do a thing like that? Good question. Lockbox right here. I don't know, lock picking. I grabbed me some black and beans. I need me some four moxie. Found it. Oh, right. 
It's the moment. It's the work of a moment to fix the doll's voice box. Sure. Pull the string. You pull the string. The doll's eyes roll back in its head, and the mouth begins to move. Hi, I'm Grace. What's your name? I'm Alvin. Hi, Alvin. You're nice. You want to play with me? Yes. Let's play. Hooray! Mary used to play with me, but we didn't finish our tea party before she went away. Will you help me finish it? Surely. Hooray! The game is almost over. Mary did such a good job. The dolls' all... dolls' eyes roll back forward. Go downstairs and get my cup. Do you know the magic word to make the mean cow let you into a secret room? No, what is it? The magic word is peanut butter. The doll goes silent. Yeah, peanut butter. You shudder as you realize talking dolls haven't been invented yet. Spooky. Whisper the secret name. Atop this sinister looking altar sits a copper goblet filled with what appears to be blood. I'm taking it. Ugh. It's mine now. Bitch. Tea. We can finish our party now. Sure, why not? You carefully pour the blood from the goblin into Grace's mouth. Ah. Grace leaps out of the toy box, laughing maniacally, and climbs the ranch house ruined chimney. First word you can see soon. She leaps to the ground behind the house and scampers off northwest. That's probably fine. Yeah, you just fed a doll um, uh, blood and it ran off. It's fine. It's fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. Harvest. Mary Sternus, Gwendolyn Sternus, Smoking Chrysanthemum. Oh, I didn't actually expect there to be something here. Uh, here. Bean. So spooky! Ah, you do fire. Bean does a lot of damage. Okay, thank you. Got a toilet pistol. Oh, boy. Got me a good old-fashioned toilet pistol. What does that mean? I don't fucking know. There we're now, unfortunately. Alright, let's go to... Cavern Canyon. All right, let's go to that new place, like, right the fuck now. <laughs> um, always poke around a little bit. At it. She gestures at goods she got for sale. Here, take a look. Take care, baby. Have you a good day. I don't have the money for this shit. Ah! I need me some. I need me some more meat. How much meat I got? Not enough. Oh, thanks, bye. Advanced bean craft. Thank you, buddy, bye. Let's see, butter bean it reduces an opponent's muscle, mysticality and moxie. Blood beans regenerate health, and the old bean increases mysticality. Let's see. I'm gonna do blood beans. Of course, you get distracted with your newfound beer that you misplaced the book. Yeah, that sounds about right. Mm. I'm pretty sure Snake Spring is just a place full of snakes. Could be wrong. But let's go to actually let's just wander for a minute. Mm. Oh, that's concerning.
you know, we've got a bit of a... Th thanks to, um, old Doc, we got to make sure we fight these. You FC, you FC an empty whiskey bottle sitting on top of fence post, about 60 paces away. Try to shoot it. Huh. Nice. Shaggy Dog Cave. Snake Pit Mine. Property of Fort All Dead Library. Hey, Beancraft. Learn Butter Bean, Uncanny Presence of Bean Wall. Unfortunately, just as you finally master technique, you drop the bu book on the other side of one of those walls and lose it. Damn it. Silversmith's house. Keep going where you're going. Fell off the card LTD. Soap fell off a rope. Got it. Thanks. Inquire about to be I just turn the corner and come face to face with three bandits, huh? Yeah. I said how did the big B? He said he's gonna be lurking and I said thank you very much, Big B. And I even looked back at you and said hey Big B's here. Yeah. You're good. I just turn the corner, you come face to face with three bandits. Yep, bandits, not bandits, bandits specifically. Bandits. Brandits pushing a large barrel TNT trail down the trail. The four of you stare at each other for a moment, unsure of how to deal with this potentially violent happenstance. Inquire about the TNT. How did their fellows find the barrel TNT got there? Well, Paris bit elderly though. What of it? Well, when TNT gets old, the nitroglycerin starts to wear out of it. Sweat out of it. So, so I'd recommend maybe I'd recommend you make your destination as quick as you can. Maybe take a shortcut over that rocky and bumpy trail over there. The man is shrug and start rolling the barrel off in the distance. After a couple of minutes, you hear a loud boom in the distance. Excellent. They hurt themselves today. A ghostly translucent bandit on a ghostly translucent horse rides up and points his ghostly translucent rifle at you, demanding all your ghostly translucent valuables. I mean, he doesn't actually specify what, that your valuables should be ghostly translucent, but it doesn't seem like you'd have any use for regular ones. No. Um, take spooky damage. Oh, we'll do zero then, spooky damage. Okay. Take fire damage, bitch. Shoot him! That was for my horse. Fuck you. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Do you need something, bitch? Send out a... Gifting out a sub to Louisa. Thank you very much for that. Thank you, Kahuna. Tacos in the background says thank you. She's, she's back, like, right... She's over... She's in that direction. It's funny because it seems like as if there should be more of a wall going this way immediately, but there's not. Like, that way is the rest of the room. Not that way, but that way. But she's over here. She says thank you. Also. But I said thank you first, so. Bonk it. Shoot it. <laughs> He said, hey, taco. And he said, now he's gonna go. Hey, Kona. Hey, also, Susie's fucking strong. Oh, yeah. Say, flip it over. I did. He said he accepts both haze. This is good. This is good. This is acceptable. Yeah.
And we're fine, meat nuts. I can only assume that if I had a what's his face, I'd be able to um repeatedly just like sell him these meat nuggets with no issue whatsoever. But I ain't got all that, so he can fuck off. And 131, I want to save for foraging first. Let's go to... Oops, wrong place. Oh well. Silver bullet making apparatus. Help yourself. Help yourself. No. Oh, no one's in here. Can't touch that yet. Watch it leave. Oh, I'm safe cracking. I'm gonna bust and loot the joint? It's okay. Look at all the dust over everything. Got checked out ages ago. Fair enough. Let's do it. Oh, spittoon! Spittoon. At least it looks like a spittoon next to the bed. It might actually be a bedpan. Investigate it. But really? I mean, if it's just a spittoon, that's bad enough, but it might be a bedpan. That could be way worse. Investigate it. I mean, like, maybe you aren't getting what I'm saying. We're talking about an object that someone probably uses when they wake up in the middle of the night and can't be bothered to walk all the way to the outhouse. And the best you can hope for is maybe they only use an Eden to spit nighttime tobacco juice into, in which case it's only full of rancid, congealing tobacco spit. I'm investigating it. I, are you even listening to me, or are you sort of just skimming past the text of bedpan? I'm pretty sure there's treasure in there. You aren't stopping me. Bedpan. Shut up. Investigating. Okay, fine, have your way, your own filthy, disgusting way. It turns out it's probably not a bedpan. But it's definitely a spittoon. It is definitely filled with rotting brown spit. Fish around in it. What's wrong with you? Bite me. Oh, good God. Okay, you plunge your hand into the wrist. It makes a good... Makes a gloop sound and breaks the thin skin of congealing toxins that was previously keeping the dire smell in a relative check. Now you're choking in a miasma of oily, bitter, chaw stink. You know that feeling when you're, when you're about to puke? How you get that taste all the way in the back rear corners of your mouth? That metallic tang on the roof of your tongue like you're sucked on a crooned old penny? Someone I found already. Found a filthy slime covered old brooch. You happy? I bet you're going to put it on without even washing it first. Maybe I will, so there. I'm going to put it on. This game real weird. This game, there is no part of this game that is meant to make someone go, ooh, that's supposed to be, you know, you know, you know, anti-intricate by any fucking means. Whoops, did not mean to go Stern's Ranch. She got a lot, so. But her gun's real dangerous too. But. Um, I meant to do this and replace this with photo pistol. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's good. For Fort Carrados, I guess. Are you okay back there? You sleepy? Then stop being in and out. Find some way to stop being in and out. Right, this is the place I don't want to be. This is the spider hole. I'm good. Maybe. Might make you do that later. Chuck's live? That doesn't shock me. Look at the mind equipment, you have no clue what any of it does. Ask Susie, explain it to you. Susie, do you know what this stuff is? No. Well, okay then. Hi, Susie. Hey, what? I want to tell you about this mining stuff, okay? And so, this first machine here is the automatic. Neat. Presser. Come on to the next machine. It's a. Uh, black resin. You see, extract black resin and then. Grind it. Well, I keep going. Third machine is a a mixed slag roller. It converts 
or into crystalline gravel. Oh. I keep that shit in mind. I got a fucking perk for bullshit. That feels good. Mm, I got hot coffee for, for, for foraging from a hot coffee cactus. Don't you like your uh, hot coffee cactus? You said what? You like not hot coffee? You're weird. Just weird. Just weird. I never really considered that until like about 15 seconds ago. That you don't like hot coffee. I thought it was just always a coincidence that I've just never seen you make hot coffee. You just don't like hot coffee. That's fair. I can mine meat veins now. Hell yeah. Punch it. Also, getting the skin is uh, very helpful. more damage than I do. That ain't fair. Actually, it's hilarious as shit to me, but, you know, whatever. This rural lock is here must have been used for storing personal effects of fellers who used to work this mine. This first one's labeled Ellsbury WM and doesn't have a lock on it. Label on the second one is covered in some kind of white goo. Third one's labeled Loose. Ben and has a combination lock on it. You open the door to reveal a skeleton covered in some white goons on the outside locker. All right, you get a custom must have died. I just go walk a plate of prank on him. They stuffed him into a locker and then filled it with shaving cream. Can't believe you dang jerk stuffed me into my locker and then filled it with shaving cream. I died from that. Yell the skeleton confirming both your insight and his vengeful murderous intent. Understood, friend. I am sorry, but you must die if you're going to be fighting me. You look weird. Uh, you don't take much damage, it seems. Here, I have a beam, buddy. And also armor. None of those cost turns. Action points are bullshit. You're immune to poison? Hmm. Yeah, it makes sense. I got a shield, fuck you. Oh no, my shield! Axe is currently playing a couple games.
I sure as hell don't want to go spiral. I also have to get all the way into the very center of this place, get the fucking pick and then hit all the way back up. Got it. I was having to check the shit out because I thought this was the spider place. Oops. has a giant spider on it that says, hey, spider place here. So I can go, oh yes, 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 avoid this place at least for now. Oh yeah, brother. Oh yeah, it's about to get ready. Alright, let's see. I want more gumption. stats here. This Caldi is now at 10 accidentally. So let's see. I'm gonna go check out Dynamite Dan's. Alright, bustle this ticket. Hand over the meat. Don't seem to have a you encounter a bandit who doesn't seem very bandit like due to the lab coat and slide rule holster. Fortunately she's also wearing the standard black bandit hat. Otherwise you might not have been able to tell. Uh, you don't seem to have a gun. How about I just punch you out and leave you instead? Ha! I like to see you try because I've been an anti-punching ring that would make help me test it. An anti-punching ring? How interesting. May I have a look? Are you using a positive matrix force field? Positive matrix? No, a sigma field derived. Sigma, oh no, that won't do it all, sweetie. Sigma, oh no, that won't do it all. I mean, I'll, it'll soak some of the kinetic force, but as soon as that things get heavy, it's going to overheat and burn your finger off. Oh, jeez, really? I hadn't thought about that. The well, the drawing board, I guess. He tosses me the ring and left. Thank you. Gives you a plus two to armor. Sweet. Dynamite Dan, your place looks like as if you've gone up in smoke. Whoops. Can I just talk to you first? Nope, no talking. Just dynamite. A year supply of dynamite. Okay. Got it. That's, that's the game's way of saying, hey, you you, you had 5,000, 5, you never need dynamite again. Got it, cool, thanks. Still don't have a safe dragon. How are you feeling back there? Understandable. Summon. Um. Bang. Boom. You bit my bean. You bit that bean. You're almost dead by the bean. Die! What's the lasso do? Ah, pull on stun for a turn. Got it. Uh, get spooked on. Oh, 
My hair is not white. Your hair has gone prematurely white due to your meddling in the affairs of the netherworld. So I've lost three moxie in this regard. That's not good, but I am back up to moxie. I will get another one to replace that momentarily. By momentarily, I mean soon-ish. Wait a minute. Moxie. Uh, okay, it has nothing to do with sailing anything. Sailing. Selling. Mm, let's see. I'll be back for y'all on a second there. I will get that goddamn... I will get that goddamn book. <laughs> you come across a horse trying fruitlessly to figure out how to use a pair of binoculars. Those aren't for you, buddy. The horse agrees, leaves him behind. Yeah, quite a few silver bullets. Honestly, I'm wandering around repeatedly trying to get into a fight. There's a fight. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Bang! Okay, she can put down a cow in one fucking shot now. Susie carves another notch in the stock of her rifle. Ha! Whenever I kill a cow, Susie's like, hell yeah. Kind of literally. Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah. XP went forward now. Oh, yeah. Is this the... It is. Okay, never mind. I know what cave this is. I don't need to be here. No. It is just an extremely deep cave that's just stories upon stories upon stories upon stories with no actual proper ending to it. It just exists. Look at all them snakes. I 
Did I say AP regen? What? Oh, I gained health back naturally. But anyway, great north. I was curious. Not that much damage yet. <laughs> was not exactly worth the AP loss. Point of somebody out of golem is that most people tend to target the golem first. I thought I put the. Okay, whatever game. That's not the one I targeted with my gun, but okay. The benefit of doing this is I just get a bunch of XP. Good. Yeah. Now my mox is where it should be again. Muscle is now at more than it should be, which is good. Now I'm going to increase my... I have nothing in my offhand. But I have nothing in my offhand. Oh, I do. Never mind.
Stay in 10 mils fast. I'm having a grrrr murder. Murder. Only five. It's pitch black. I feel weird. I didn't realize I can't actually hear this. Oh, really? So. Skeleton bones I have in my inventory, I can, I can summon, I can use to summon skeletons. Yep, there it is. It's weird. Just weird. Okay. Just weird. Uh, has has the has the um. Hydrogen, um, hydrogen dioxide. Yeah. Are you confused by what I said? Okay, make me sure. Hydrogen peroxide and hydrogen dioxide are different. I have a Answer, running tracer Yeah, I probably should. But if I go pee, who's gonna shoot all these snakes for me? Your stomach capacity determines how many food items you can eat before you take a nap. Before you need a nap. Also, you can't take a nap. Take a nap. You can only sleep for a full night. Statement will be as follows. Uh, small, 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 bang. And also, hey, stop eating my meat. Completely honest, most uh, 
Necromancers are pretty good tanks. <laughs> no, not yet. But if you've got passive health regen, you're a pretty good tank. Which is... Huh? Oh yeah, I'm getting 40 every time I fight four snakes. So I'm... I'm, I'm grinding. That's a lot of work. I'm going to grind my way all the way to... What money do I have? I still don't, I still don't have the fucking... You know, the whole reason I'm fucking... Body uh. thing. I miss cows did this to a guy. I reckon so, judging from these tracks, but mm, I'm wrong. What about these tracks like they're right? What do you mean? They aren't spaced out right and they're uneven. Oh, okay, what does that mean? I say either the cow made these tracks that made these tracks of drunk, or it wasn't even a cow that made them. They were following. Being honest, I want the fucking box to look. That is currently the most important thing to me, given how often I'm running something that requires box picking and I just can't. Gotta go buy it. 15,000... Uh, I'm almost there. I've got 1,400. Probably should have been reading some of those. the exact same amount of HP. Yar. R. You shot my beam! Now it's attacking you. See what you did? Selling the wrath of the beam. the direction for about a half a mile and discover another campsite. This one occupied. You observe the campers carefully from a distance before approaching. They're dressed weirdly in brightly colored baggy clothes with a white face paint. The closer you realize they're dressed up as rodeo clowns. Why would they do that? They don't, there doesn't seem to be rodeo happening anywhere near here. Approach the camp. A rodeo clown campsite is not what I expected to read in this next few minutes, but I sure the hell did. It happened, and it happened. I was kind of playing a harmonica. The tune basically goes. Rodeo Clown is eating comically large haunch of meat. He narrows his eyes at you as if safe to find. Clown is juggling a knife. Howdy, stranger. He says with a smile. Okay. He nods politely and keeps playing. Okay. Howdy, stranger. Or, howdy. What are you guys doing out here? Clown's a change plants. Camping. You can tell by the campfire. Okay, what I mean is, is there no rodeo or circus around here? So why are you guys in rodeo clown outfits? Oh, that. Our circus up north. We're on break, so we decided to take it to sites. What sites? What sites? This is in the middle of nowhere. Nonsense. Check out those cactuses over there and those mountains and well, all the sand. Plenty of things to see. Guess so. What circus? 
What service? I didn't think about service in the air. Oh, you wouldn't have. It's just a little traveling show. You aren't missing anything. What's it called? The clown hesitates and then shrugs. It's called Barnaby's Barnaby Bob's Perfectly Normal Traveling Circus Sideshow. How far north is it? Oh, pretty far. Too far for you to worry about. No, really. How far? Up near Goblin Gulch. Wow, that is really far north. Right, exactly. Too far. You walked all the way from there? Where exactly? Why would you want to go there? Look, don't worry about it. Your willingness to tell me... Your unwillingness to tell me is strange. The clown glanced around the clown with her monocle and shrugs. Well, partner, I was just trying to save you a long journey and all, but if you're sure, I'll be making glad to mark it on your map. Here you go. Thank you. I wasn't going to talk about you, though. Anything about the wrecked camp nearby? Somebody's camp got wrecked? Wow, that's terrible. Whatever happened? Well, let's have to work at cows. I think you know what happened. Chronicle falls silent and Clown's eyes grow cold. He stops toying aimlessly with his knife. When I don't much care for that key to return voice. Or, what I mean is... You know, now that you mentioned it, we did hear quite a ruckus coming from not too far away. A lot of, you know, mooing and so on, right, boys? Well, you guys know a lot about cows, right? Now, what make you assume that? Just because we're clowns? What? Well, couldn't figure out the territory. We had 20 years since a rodeo was an actual thing, you know. Oh. Why are you dressed that way? Dressed up well, it's traditional, after all. Is it inconvenient? What do you mean? Makeup and the baggy clothes and all? Well, it must be hard to talk to people and they're all creeped out. Take me off if you to me, right, fellas? Well, it must be hard to talk to people and they're all creeped out. Oh, do you think we're creepy? He leaves with you showing yellow teeth and the flickering light of the campfire. They almost look pointed. Uh, I relax, partner. That's just some old stories getting you worked up. I mean, the old stories about. I mean, the old stories about how demon clowns and demon clowns war. How demon cows and demon clowns war against each other in hell, and rodeo clowns dressed like this because the rodeos were sort of reenactments of those battles. You've done your homework, so what do you think? Are demon clowns real? What do you think? Do we think demon clowns are real? You think we're looking at some right now, or we might know some, maybe. I guess maybe. Well, I guess maybe the demon clowns turn out to be real after all. So, the demon cows turn out to be real. So, why not the clowns? The clown smiles, but his eyes are hard. It's sensible to keep an open mind, but no stranger. If clowns did turn out to be real, this could be an awful, awkward predicament you find yourself in right now, couldn't it? I'll just be going now. I want to talk about his knife before I try to fight him. Nice knife. It was a birthday present. Oh, was your birthday recently? Not my birthday, no. Okay, then. Alright, fine. I guess I'm killing these fuckers. Anything about the wreck camp? What's about the wreck house? No, not to mention it. I hear a ruckus. That's not off by a lot of cows. I thought you dressed that way. Make up in bad clothes. Must be hard when they're creeped out. I mean, the old story is about. Oh, I think I'm looking at something right now. Oh, dearie dear. Well, now you go say things like that. You know, we can't leave, leave her alive, right, stranger? Bring it for a show. <laughs> nope, I hate it. I hate those laughs. Those were awful. Bingo! Activate! Primary function? Bingo! And oh shit, they got a lot of HP. At least the big one does. Um, oh, he's also got a barrel. Nice. Clever, clever, clever. Bingo. Get back, bitch! <laughs> Them there being you dirty, dirty bitch. <laughs> you killed my bee. You damn there, dirty bitch. Anyway, they killed that guy. Bitch. Fine. Dust the 
this bitch first. I was very close to me dying. Mm, let's see. Let's see. One, well, that's one pack of demonic rodeo clowns that won't be troubling people anymore. And boy, did you not expect this? Expect me thinking that's in us today. I got a clown knife. I got a circus ticket. I also found a knight in one of the lead clown's pockets too. It seems to be orders to check an abandoned tannery not far from Dirtwater. It's called Danny's Tannery. I'll investigate. Sure. It's not where I was trying to go, damn it. Button Willow Store. Hey, guess what? I will sell a single full canteen. And buy the lock picking book. I've got no money. Get in the hell out of the store. And I read this goddamn book. Click memorize the entire book. Lock picking expertise. After you're done reading, you donate to the local orphanage. Soon those orphans will be able to make their escape. Orphans go. Go, orphans go. So that's the thing I can upgrade now, right? Yep. Cool, perfect. So where's the locking? Oh, where's the saving mechanic? Oh, it's auto save, right? So when you pick back up next time, we're gonna... I say in them there a military saber? Artillery saber? What the fuck's an artillery saber? Oh, it increases my pistol damage. Nice. Anyway, next time we pick up up from, from Fort Caritas. Is that a colorblind mode? Why? I was turned on colorblind mode. Oh, I can turn off stupid walking from there. Uh, I thought I could. I didn't check here initially, and I was like, oh, that's fine. <laughs> Hear that from my ears? You said Chuck's live, right? So many people alive. God damn. Who fucked all these people to be live right now, you know? I guess gotta have all of them open anyway or something. I'll find out in a second. Yeah, that smells about right. I got an advertisement for a quarter pounder with cheese. I am very unhappy. Mm, I'm gonna. Um, like, you know, when you don't have. <laughs> oh, 
love my people so much. Oops. There we go. Uh, just hanging out hard to today. Of course. It's funny that he's currently looking up a character um, voice actor, which is the crazy, uh, the crazy chick from the first Infamous game. That I know you don't know who that is. But she's so well done, and she's never brought back for any of the other Infamous games. She's in the comic books. Fun fact. And, um, <laughs> in the comic, I'll, I'll explain it to you after the stream. A little bit. Oh, she also voiced, uh, the big chick from Persona 4. The one that broke Yosuke's bike. Uh, Persona? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna raid Jacob the Hobo. Um, I hope everyone has a good day. Glad to know the stream will run, but we're gonna have to still see about getting her shit figured out and getting a curtain here. In the meantime, everyone take care. Have a good day. Have a good night. Stay hydrated. It. I realized how fast it was going. I was like, oh.